It's Monday and week seven of Super Rugby is finished. Our Sport 24 editor, Garen, is joining me on the couch to let me know if your predictions were correct. So I know Rob's not here today. So he's um, off the hook for his prediction. Yeah, well, one, in, one in Jen. Rob's actually off gloating because he was correct this weekend in two out of the oh, three no. games. Oh, no. And I, I only, took your side on. I only got Friday. one right, unfortunately. <laughs> but the first game, you know, it was the Reds up against the Stormers in, in Brisbane. It was the Stormers' final tour game. Right. And they ended um, up losing that game. Unfortunately, that's four defeats on, on the trot Jeez. for the Stormers. The first time since 1998, a full 16 years ago, that they've actually been winless on their Australasian tour. So not great for the poor Stormers. They suffered an injury to Gio Aplon early in the match, 23rd minute. He went off with a dislocated elbow. That really seemed to set them back. He's been the one player that's shown some X factor this season for the right. Stormers. So they were deprived of that. And things just got, went from worse to worse for them, unfortunately. So the Reds, having traveled all the way back to Brisbane, right. didn't seem to affect them at all. They won 22-17 at the end. The Stormers scored a late try to sort of... So the scoreline didn't like flatter them too much. Mm -hmm. So they went down. They picked up a single bonus point for losing by seven or fewer. But they head back to South Africa now, sort of like with their proverbial tail between their legs. But they've got a whole host of home matches now. And we've talked in the past about the home teams right. really being the favoured teams in these matches. So hopefully better things for them to, to come in the Fingers weeks crossed. ahead. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but it's, it's a long uphill climb for them. They're near the bottom of both the South African Conference and the overall log. So I don't see them progressing to the next stage. Mm -hmm. But hopefully you know, they'll play for their fans in the coming weeks. All right. So not off to a good no, start. No. Poor Stormers. Now, <laughs> the second game. How'd that go? The second game, unfortunately, again for the Bulls, it ended up in a draw. 34 all draw it's a high scoring game yeah, and, and again you know we talked last week about the altitude perhaps being a factor for the Chiefs yeah. who just arrived in the country playing up at, at um, Loftus Fairsfeld but the opposite seemed to actually happen it was quite <laughs> bizarre they started off really really well then the Bulls took over sort of in the middle like 40-45 minutes but then the Chiefs finished strong they actually scored two late tries when the Bulls looked like they were flagging a little bit in, at the high altitude they scored a couple of tries late on. Their fly off Gareth Anscombe kicked a touchline conversion to draw 34 all. So the, the, the Chiefs scored five p tries actually in the match to the, to the Bulls as three, which tells you a little bit about how South African teams sort of struggling on attack. Right. That the, the fact that the Chiefs scored two more tries in the, the 34 all scoreline. So they picked up three points, two for the draw, plus one for scoring four tries or more. The Bulls picked up only two points. A moral victory for the Chiefs, who will ha be happy with their first match in South Africa. The Bulls, you know, th th they've been picking up a little bit of momentum at home. Last weekend, they'd beaten the, the Sharks, who were the top of the table at the time. So not ideal, and they actually head off now on their tour of Australasia. So well, things will, you know, could be a little bit different for them away from the comforts of Loftus Festival. But nevertheless, they didn't lose two points, not the worst return, but they'll be kicking themselves a little bit that they didn't pick up more points at home. Okay, so so far we have poor Stormers and a draw. <laughs> <laughs> the last um, game on Saturday, yeah, how did that go? Far, far better news for South Africa <laughs> okay. and, and the Sharks. Luckily, uh, the sh you know, in the last game at home against the Waratahs, who r both Rob and I picked um, the Waratahs to lose by a couple of points, but they the Sharks ended up winning 32-10, which was a bit of a hiding in Super Rugby terms. Waratahs just really didn't pitch up for the game. I'm not too sure why. But there wasn't anything obvious wrong with them, apart from the, the fact that Israel Folau, their star fullback, wasn't playing. He's the leading try scorer this, to date in the yeah. Super Rugby tournament. Scored eight tries. I think the next best is only four. So they were deprived of his attacking abilities. But still, he shouldn't have really been the difference between that sort of scoreline. So the, the Sharks back in Durban, again, as we said, they'd be, they're far better at home, having um, lost to the Bulls the week before away. Jake White obviously made a couple of changes. I think there were 10 actually in total, a couple of um, positional changes as well. But they, they were comfortable winners in the end. They never really looked like they were going to lose. Yeah. They kicked all their penalties. They scored a couple of tries as well. So they'll be, you know, they've just entrenched themselves again at the top of the Southern Conference, top of the overall log. So things looking good for the Sharks. Durban Faithful turned out um, to, to watch their team win. So good things from a South African point of view in the final match because it was looking like a little bit of a dire <laughs> weekend again, unfortunately. <laughs> Seven weekends into the tournament in South Africa, yeah. still struggling to win more than they lose, if you like, in, in, the, in the tournament. So at least it ended up on a, on a positive note. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was week seven. Hopefully week eight is better. I feel For like sure. I'm saying that a lot in these Absolutely. shows. <laughs> Hopefully next week is better. Um, I know that people can share photos and you guys do great live updates. Why don't you tell our audience how they can become involved in that? True, Jane. 
you know, the easiest thing, obviously, to visit sport24.co.za, follow our live updates, which are tremendously popular, both on the website and on your mobile phone. Send us pictures of, of you at the games, uh, celebrating, hopefully, victories for your teams, and challenge us on Super Bowl. You know, our predictions have been fairly average of late, but challenge us, see how you do compared to us, and we'll let you know every Monday morning.